10 Recent Discoveries That Could Have Changed Our Past Significantly Disarming HIV HIV AIDS kills around 1.8 million people a year and ranks as the third leading cause of death in low-income countries. But a recent study in journal Blood presents a potentially new way to combat the disease. Instead of killing the virus, make the body resistant to it. When a person is infected, the body's innate immune system provides an immediate but flawed defense. HIV takes its membrane or skin from the cell that it infects. Researchers led by scientists at Imperial College London and Johns Hopkins University exposed HIV by removing cholesterol from this cellular wall, producing a large hole in the virus's membrane and making it permeable, which in turn led to a stronger adaptive response orchestrated by immune cells. While researchers have lengths to go before they can even think to announce a cure for HIV, this breakthrough could dramatically reduce the amount of resources devoted to treating and combating the disease and provide insight into fighting similarly complex diseases in the future. Breakthroughs in Stem Cell Research Probably no area of research has fired the public imagination and ignited the fires of public controversy as much as stem cell research. But the clinical advances, even when they have come from pilot studies, have been tantalizing. In 2009, European researchers genetically manipulated bone marrow cells taken from two seven-year-old boys and then transplanted the altered cells back into the boys and apparently arrested the progress of a fatal brain disease. Now, scientists can make embryonic-like stem cells directly from skin cells, which makes it possible to model a multitude of human diseases. New drugs based on stem cells are being developed, and the first human clinical trial based on products of human embryonic stem cells have taken place. With the cheap and efficient means of manipulating stem cells within reach, regardless of the legal barriers, new options are opening up for researchers looking to generate new tissue in a lab setting, which could radically change the way America's organ donor system functions. Robot Surgeries in late 2007, the surgeons at the Cleveland Clinic began removing kidneys through a single incision in the patient's navel. Using tiny metal hands, carefully manipulating sutures deep inside a patient's body seems like something pulled from science fiction, but that robotic surgery is occurring daily in a growing number of centers across the country. The greatest benefit of tiny openings into the body, rather than large incisions made by traditional surgery, may, believers say, mean shorter and and less painful recovery time. Doctors have also used robotic surgery to improve the accuracy of procedures, especially in cancer cases. Robotic surgery increased the ability of cancer surgeons to get clean margins as well due to the magnification of the structures. Robotic tools also offer the potential for surgeons to operate on patients remotely, which would reduce the costs of travel and other barriers towards receiving specialized care. While critics say the cost of the robotic hardware may outweigh the benefit, the potential for smoother, more efficient, and less invasive surgeries bodes well both for patient safety and overall medical costs. Researchers develop imaginary meal pill. An imaginary meal pill called fexaramine has been developed by researchers at the Salks Gene Expression Laboratory. It has the ability to prevent weight gain, lower cholesterol, control blood sugar, and minimize inflammation in mice with plans for human trials. The pill works by making the body believe it has consumed calories, causing it to respond by burning fat. Behaving in a different manner than other diet pills, it remains in the intestines and results in fewer side effects. Ronald Evans, director of SALT, suggested that the pill can also have important health benefits, tackling obesity and being potentially crucial in aiding the treatment of diabetes. Green tea can help cure oral cancer. Researchers say that green tea can help kill off cancerous cells. Scientists at Pennsylvania State University discovered a compound found in green tea that could trigger a cycle which kills off oral cancer cells, leaving healthy cells alone. While earlier studies had shown that the compound EGCG behaved in this manner, it was not known why this was the case. However, the study at Pennsylvania State found that the compound can trigger a process in the mitochondria 
causing cell death, further reducing the defensive capabilities of the cancer cell by lowering the expression of antioxidant genes. Furthermore, EGCG doesn't simply leave healthy cells alone, but was also found to increase their protective capabilities. Impact glass may exist on Mars. Brown University researchers found that spectral signals indicate the existence of impact glass on the surface of Mars, with specific deposits conserved in craters. Impact glass is created in the aftermath of a violent impact that forms a crater due to its heat. This discovery, based on data from NASA, could provide scientists with the ability to look for signs of life on Mars, as impact glass on Earth has previously been found to preserve ancient life. Scientists create intelligent mice that do not experience fear or anxiety. Scientists participating in a joint University of Leeds and Mount Sinai hospital study managed to alter a gene within mice, improving their intelligence and reducing their ability to feel anxiety or fear. The discovery could prove instrumental in research into age-related cognitive decline, such as Alzheimer's or schizophrenia. The genetic modification involved inhibiting an enzyme in mice that showed greater cognitive skills, being able to learn faster and remember longer. Paralyzed man walks again. The brain-computer interface system will be improved by developing an implantable version, say experts. A 26-year-old male who had suffered a spinal cord injury, which had paralyzed him from the waist down, was given the ability to walk again by scientists who rerouted brain waves to electrodes on his knees. The doctors responsible said that he was the first person with paraplegia caused by a spinal injury given the ability to walk without relying on manually controlled robotic limbs. One of the lead doctors responsible said that this was possible because, quote, even after years of paralysis, the brain can still generate robust brain waves that can be harnessed to enable basic walking. Visual reality can revolutionize healthcare. Cardiologists at the Institute of Cardiology in Poland have successfully used virtual reality to restore blood flow to a blocked artery, leading the way for it to revolutionize certain aspects of healthcare in surgical procedures and during training. Using wearable virtual reality equipment similar to that of Google Glass and developed specifically for the surgical procedure, doctors completed the difficult procedure. The Atomic Bomb this one pretty much goes without saying, but if atom bombs existed before the 20th century, the world as we know it wouldn't exist today. Simple as that.